Hello, and welcome to a short demonstration on how to update the software on your STVI. Let's get started. So what we have is you're looking at the Mega website, and what we're going to do is we're going to come up here into the search bar, and we're going to type in the RTMS software. Once the site brings it up, we're going to come down here and select this top portion, RTMS. Now we're going to come over here to the software tab. Now, once you drop this software tab down, you're going to see two installs here. You're going to see one that says install, and it's actually for the PC version. So we don't need this one. So for the handheld STVI and the STVIs that are embedded into uh, the test equipment, we will use the onboard install. Okay, so you will select download and you might have to log in with with your credentials uh, to access this download and once you have logged in and you get to the download area then now you will see a window that'll come up to ask you if it wants to save it somewhere on your pc so make sure you follow where it's actually going to be saving it to um, i have already downloaded this software uh, ahead of time so we're going to just jump into the software Let's get down here. So now what you're going to see is I have two screen. I have two windows here. Uh, one window has the onboard install, which I downloaded from the Mega site. And in this install, you will want to take it and extract it. So you can see that there's another uh, folder ahead of this one that's actually fully extracted. So once you open this file here, you're going to notice that there's multiple files inside uh, the extracted folder. So I'll also need to get up another window that has a thumb drive. So the USB thumbstick will actually be placed inside the, at the top of the STVI unit. And so with that, once you plug in that uh, USB, then it's actually going to start. Uh, we can start the update process from the uh, RTMS screen. But what I need is I need these files. I need all three of these files to be moved over to this side. And you're noticing that I have these files already here. Okay. Um, these are on the USB uh, root drive. And that's all I need is just to have just these files on here. Uh, I did this ahead of time because it does take just a few moments to get all these files over to the USB stick. So uh, this is what your USB stick should look like here. And this should just have just these files on it. So now we will take the stick uh, out of the PC and we will go to the STVI and start the update. Okay, now I'm at my STVI and you will see that I have taken my USB thumb drive and placed it into the top of the unit. It doesn't matter which slot. And then now I need to go through a couple of the screens because I want to verify what software version is currently on this unit. So I'm going to come to this setting cockwheels. Now I'm going to go to display versions. And here is where I can find this information. So I have a PowerDB version of 11.1. .1. And this version right here is a little older than what we currently have, which would be 11.2.9.0. And that's the version I will look for uh, whenever I come back to verify that my update has completed. There's another piece of good information here as well, is we also give the firmware version of the SMRT Vigens, which are the current voltage generators. And this is important to know because in the next uh, screen I'll show you. Okay, I want to go to update firmware. So this is the pop-up window I was talking about, and it gives us a couple of options here. It gives us update the SMRT firmware, which as I was saying earlier, the uh, firmware version of each generator will get updated uh, to the latest uh, firmware release that you currently have placed on your thumb drive. The STVI firmware, what this is talking about is the program that's on the STVI here, or you can do both. So when you select both, it will do the, uh, of course, both the firmware, which would be of the hardware uh, updates, and then also the uh, 
uh, STVI software updates. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm just going to hit the STVI firmware. So it's, and then it's going to ask me a few questions. PowerDB has found a USB drive with the software update. Would you like to run this update now? Yes, I would. So it's going to go through a sequence of loading and uh, installing, and there's a couple more questions that will come up. So at this point, I don't need any additional languages to be added to uh, this install, so I will hit OK. And it does take a few moments to get everything loaded on here. Okay, at this point, the STVI is going to uh, restart itself. And select concept. And now it's going to come up with the window again. This is the same thing that we said earlier is it has actually found uh, a software update on the USB drive. Well, since we've already ran it once, we don't need to run it again. So we're going to hit no. So now once it's loaded up, we're going to come back over here to setting cogwheels. We're going to go to display versions. And now we're verifying that the update did take. So we do have the newer version, 11.2.9.0. And we still have kept the current version of our SMRT hardware as well. So now our STVI and SMRT now match. And now we're ready to do some testing. All right. Thanks for watching.